Hello and welcome to my Beehive review where I'm going to be quickly covering some of their top features as well as answering the very popular question, is this the best email newsletter platform? So before we begin, I do want to let you know that they do come with a free trial. I will leave my link down below in case you want to test it out, no card needed. And should you want to upgrade in the future, I am working on getting a coupon code for you. So once I get that, it will either be in the description or built into my personal affiliate link. So if you do want to upgrade, you can save a good amount of money. So now let's begin. Starting off with creating new newsletters given the fact that software is all about that. And when it comes to that, simplicity is going to be your best friend here and that's a really good thing. As you can see on the left side, I'm going to keep the list open just because there's so many features. I'm not going to be able to get into all of them, so I will go through some of the main ones and talk about some of the others. But when it comes to creating a post, you can create templates, which is a great thing. It's going to save you a ton of time. But when it comes to actually start writing, very easy to do. So, so we can start with a blank draft. I'm going to quickly go through and walk you through the process just to show you how easy it is to do. So as you can see, everything on the right is going to be like the title of it, so we know what to save it as. We have subtitles, authors, if you want to use a guest author, if you want to show by lines and emails, hide from feeds, and so on and so forth. Now, the reason why I say this is so easy, if you know how to type, and as long as you know how to hit the forward slash, you are going to be good to go here. So anytime you have your cursor here, this can be your intro, for example, and type whatever you want. Simple stuff, right? Now let's say we want to add something fancy. So all we have to do now is hit the forward slash. And if you do that, you're going to get some of the main things that you can do here, like bullet list, images, headings, embeds, AI writers, AI images, boost, polls, you name it. So given the fact we're creating a newsletter here, let's say we want to add an image. Now, if you didn't feel like looking for it, you could also type in I M A and it'll show up. So let's click on that. Now, all you need to do is upload an image, easy to do. I already have a few, so I'm gonna go to my library and I'm simply gonna go to my logo. From there, if we wanna change that around, we can go to like this little gear here and we can make the image maybe a little bit smaller if needed. We can align it to a different side if we wanna add a border and so on and so forth. And just like that, of course, we can carry on. Now, if we wanna make it a little bit easier on the eyes, we could do forward slash again and say we wanna do like a bullet list. It's already highlighted right here, or maybe a numbered list. This is what we're gonna be talking about in this newsletter. So number one, we're gonna be talking about newsletters, monetization, and say coupons. Those are gonna be the three big things in this newsletter, right? Usually when you have newsletters, you have some type of introduction, what we're gonna be talking about. And once that's done, let's do forward slash. Now, how about some type of divider? You'll notice we have a horizontal rule. We can go with that. And as you can see, it's gonna be right there, good to go. Now you might be asking, well, you have all this stuff in here, but how do we format it? How do we edit it? I will get to that very shortly. So next we probably wanna do a headline. Once again, we have forward slash scrolling down a little. We have plenty of headlines to use. Let's go with number two. And we talked about newsletters. Okay. Then maybe after that, we want to add an image. Let's do forward slash. Once again, we have our images and you'll notice it's going to be quite repetitive. I'm going to use it. I love this image just to say, <laughs> in case you haven't seen my other videos, I talk about it every time. So once again, we're going to have more text here. And as you can see, it's a very easy process to go through because once you understand how to actually utilize this, it's pretty simple straight off. It's like typing or hitting the forward slash if you wanna do anything cool. Like I talked about before, you can utilize polls if you want, referral program, advertisements, which is a great way in terms of monetization and a few other things. When you are done too, assuming you have created a longer newsletter, you can do save template. And that's gonna be beneficial for you because what you can do is like keep your logo there, just change around what's gonna be the intro, obviously the headline, the picture and the text. So that will save you a lot of time, which is really a good thing. So getting up and running with a newsletter isn't gonna be all that challenging. Like I said, as long as you know how to type or hit the forward slash, the world is going to be at your fingertips in terms of your newsletter capabilities. Now there's creating a newsletter and showing how it looks. And in order to change that, we can go to the design lab. Since we're already in here, there's a shortcut to it where if you click on these three dots, you simply go to theme settings. So this is what's referred to as the design lab. You'll notice how there's gonna be a lot of text and examples here. Just in case there's any confusion, the only difference here is gonna be like, this is what your uh, color themes are gonna be, your font, your spacing. So all this text doesn't matter. This is just how it's gonna show up when you actually create it in your newsletters. As you can see, there's gonna be sections for backgrounds where you can change them around, the color, the borders, and so on and so forth. Like the spacing between these, like what it looks like, and so on and so forth. The body text, in case you wanted to make it a different, let's go with Georgia, you're gonna notice everything turns to Georgia and you can actually test it out here. So when you are done with that, you obviously save it. And that's what all your newsletters are gonna look like. So so 
when it comes to actually the post, this is going to be the content on here. That's like what you edit. You had your pictures, your text, your bullet points, and so on and so forth. And in the design lab, this is going to be like more the aesthetics, the font, the color, the spacing, how big the divider is going to be and how much size it takes up and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like the one-two punch when it comes to creating your newsletter. You do this once, you're going to be all set and that's a really good thing. And really all it is is kind of tweaking a few settings. So you say, hmm, I want my font to be a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. Say it's font 16, let's go a little bit smaller. And you'll notice maybe too small, maybe 16 was good. And it's really just playing around with it just to get the perfect size that you like and then you can move on from there. So that all in a nutshell is going to be what it takes to kind of create your newsletter. Pretty simple stuff, especially if you're going to be new to this. Aside from newsletters, there is the ability to add automation. So this is going to be very beneficial. For example, say if someone just signs up for your newsletter, what you can do is send them an automated welcome email as well as do some other things if you want to. So for example, I'm just going to click on new automation for you to see how it works from the start. And for this, I just put marketing island example just to show you. Let's click on save automation. All right, and so you'll notice there's a trigger. So what we want to do is add a trigger. So anytime a specific action happens, this is when it's going to get started. So we do add trigger. We can go here, add trigger. So say like someone signed up, which is going to be good. So there's other actions too. So maybe someone submitted an email, there was a survey, they upgraded, they downgraded. So yes, you can add premium subscriptions for one of the upgraded plans, but let's just say they signed up. And eventually once you are done, you'd probably want to hit the activate, but just letting you know, let's click on save. And just to give you an example, for example, maybe you want to send an email so we can drag this right here. And this is actually going to be the follow-up email. So what happens here, we can go in the editor, we can create new email. And once again, it's going to be business as usual. This will be your subject line. This will be your preview. And once again, we have, you know, thank you for signing up. Okay, and maybe you wanted to send them a free gift. So this would just be your normal welcome email. Like, thanks for signing up to my newsletter. As my way of saying thank you, here's going to be a complimentary gift. Of course, you can always like preview it to see what it looks like. Of course, like I have like nothing in there, of course. But, and of course, we could always type our text once again or just hit the forward slash. And we have plenty of options to do as we've gone over previously when it comes to creating your newsletter. So upon exiting that, let's say we want to save it. And of course, there are going to be some other options like updating subscription. You can wait a specific amount of time. You can do a time delay. And then there's going to be the true false branch, which is really going to dictate based upon specific settings that you have. For example, if someone's name is this, if they took a survey, if they answered this, send them this mail, send them that mail. It's really up to you when it comes to the automation. It could be advanced or as simple as you want, but that is something else that I think a lot of people are really going to like, given the fact a lot of like email marketing tools have this as well. So does Beehive. And last but not least, when it comes to highlighting some of the popular features, we have the Beehive landing page editor. This is about as simple as it gets. And for me, that is two big thumbs up. I'd rather take simple over something extremely advanced because simple usually works, especially when it comes to getting subscribers. Now, just for the record here, I think my cache was still putting this in. I use this as a test email and it's just showing up there. However, when I actually show you the landing page, it's not gonna be there, that's just for me. Nevertheless, this works very similar to the design lab. So what's gonna happen here? You have your main section and what you can do is just change and edit it based upon what you have here. Not a whole lot going on and that's a good thing as you can see here we have the text for the marketing island newsletter you know you can change that around there's going to be some text for under it if you want to do really up to you let's give you an example here okay so like the newsletter for online marketers and business owners who are looking for new software and tactics obviously you can put anything there you want they have the color once again if you want to change it the font family you know the sign up form the color uh you know entering your primary email i've already gone through and added some of this so Let's just say we want to go up there. Now, if you scroll down, there are going to be some other sections that I added in a previous video. This is obviously uh, just a made up one that's me. I put this is the best newsletter ever, but I might be a tad bit biased. I, that wouldn't normally be there. It's just there for the example, right? And uh, so if you want to add some testimonials, which is pretty cool, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is going to be a frequently asked questions section. So this is going to be the testimonial section where you can create a testimonial here, add the name, add the picture, what they have to say. Pretty simple stuff. We have featured posts in case you want to add those once it gets going. And of course, the FAQ section down here, we can very quickly and easily add some questions. So if you want to add a new one, you know, what's this going to be about? When can I expect it? When does it go out? Answer. And of course, you just add it. So let me actually show you what this looks like in an incognito window. So just to show you there, like it didn't have that random test email it's just because like my cookies or cache needed to be refreshed, but that's going to be, I didn't save it. So it didn't have that text underneath it, but that's what it had previously. Like who is it for? And of course, how often will it go out? Testimonials. And of course, you don't even need to use any of that stuff. You can literally just use this. You can add an image here. Maybe you can add a few more um, 
text there, obviously, to to make it a little bit more appealing. So it's not like broad and basic and people understand what they're signing up for. But overall, I absolutely love the simplicity of being able to utilize this because one, it doesn't take too long to get up and running. And two, you have pretty much everything that you need because in my testing and all my years being online, I've noticed that the simpler landing pages where you're looking to get an email, like a squeeze page, usually convert much higher when they're basic, just like this. There's no other distractions. There's nothing else for them to do. Either they enter their primary email and they get on your newsletter or they get off the page. That's it. Okay. So two thumbs up there. I really like that. All right. So I want to quickly talk about the beehive pricing because they have a lot of great features here. I'm not going to be able to go over all of them, but should you want to get started with beehive? I love the fact that they have a $0 plan. You can pretty much use this as long as you want until you get up to 2,500 subscribers, or maybe you want to move to grow or scale because they have some really good upgradable features with this. You also get unlimited sense. So like I said, you can use them for a good amount of time, get used to them. And then of course, move on over to grow or scale, unless you really want to pick up some of these premium features. For example, example. Grow, which is 49 a month, comes with premium subscriptions. So not only can you get people on your newsletter, but if you want to get some people who want to have a premium subscription where they pay for it, that's another great way of monetizing your newsletter. Another great way, should you want to go straight to scale, I believe is going to be Boost. So what's great about Boost is what happens anytime someone signs up for your newsletter, assume you find some other newsletters that are going to be right for those subscribers. What happens is a box will open and they can click on any other newsletters that they want to subscribe for. And a lot of times you get paid maybe like $2, $3 per subscriber, and you can put quite a few of those there. So it's a great way to really make some money right off the bat, just from someone signing up to your newsletter. So. With premium, you also get automations, which I talked about. You get the referral program. You also get the ad network, which is yet another great way to monetize your newsletter, utilizing some ads as a part of their network. Nevertheless, Beehive has a lot to offer here. So let's wrap up this Beehive review, shall we? So in conclusion, I would say Beehive stands out as a remarkably intuitive and user-friendly platform, particularly for those diving into the world of newsletter creation. Its simplicity and features is a huge plus, making it accessible even to beginners as shown. The fact that Beehive is dedicated solely to newsletters is a testament to its specialized functionality, ensuring that every tool and feature is tailored to enhance the newsletter creation experience. Additionally, the platform offers an impressive array of monetization features, which are sure to be a hit for anyone looking to monetize their content effectively. While I haven't had the opportunity to test every email newsletter platform out there, Beehive has certainly set a high bar. Its combination of ease of use, focused design, and robust monetization tools makes it a top contender in the space, and perhaps even the leading choice for many users. In summary, Beehive is not just another email newsletter platform, it's a thoughtfully designed tool that could be a game changer for newsletter creators. I highly recommend trying Beehive, especially for the fact that you can get started for free, no card needed. And I will leave my affiliate link in the description for easier access. Should you want to upgrade, I am also working on a coupon code for you where you'll be able to save a good amount of money. And that will either be in the description as well or included in my link. So that should just about do it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my Beehive review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If not, I'll see you in my next video and enjoy Beehive.